everybody it's melissa from buckeye girls reason things today i am doing croctober well if you all didn't know october is really an important month for me and my husband as that's our anniversary month and you know food takes us back in memories of things that we've done in that month and in that time so this video it's kind of taking a look back at two two very uh, two of our very favorite recipes that we we had in a anniversary trip a trip to Cape Cod with a day trip to Salem Massachusetts we which is really fun uh we uh we went to a farmer's market there and these are two recipes that we had that a lady served out of a cauldron, out of cauldrons, on the farm and ate as street food. And that would be corn chowder and clam chowder, which I'd never made before until I met this fabulous lady. And she also taught me a new way to thicken soup that I never knew before. So I'll take you back to and show you these recipes. And this is a collaboration. Please check out my description box for the hosts, which is I'm Merely Melissa. And Holly Purcell, please check out their channels and all the other participants in this collab for all kinds of fabulous fall Crock-Pot recipes, which there's nothing any better than that. We love a good Crock-Pot recipe here. And here is the recipes. Okay, we're gonna start off with bacon grease. Since we pre-fried our bacon, we gotta start off with bacon grease. If you, if you fry, if you, you're frying your bacon, you won't have to do this step. But we, as you can see, we have a blackstone and we keep all of our bacon grease for our blackstone. Now we're going to add to our grill one onion, four potatoes, and you're saying this is a crock pot collab. Why are you doing this? I think when you fry your vegetables first, it makes them have a better flavor. And this is the way I was taught to make this, this chowder. The lady that taught me, she she sold chowder, clam chowder, and um, and corn chowder at a flea at a farmer's market in Salem, Massachusetts. And she, in in her cooler, she had bags of pre-fried vegetables and all the things to make her soup. And all she did is put it in her little look like black ca cauldron cooker and cook, cooked it up and would sell it and she would sell out as quick as she cooked it up and it was the best thing I we, we ate on the entire trip and that is one of my biggest memories of that trip is her soup so that's why I decided to do my crock, Crocktober, I guess dedicated to Salem, Massachusetts, our trip in October a few years ago, and her. Because it was a fun four pieces of bacon, one package of corn, three medium potatoes, which they're right out of our garden. And if you have a little extra bacon, you can always put a little extra bacon in there. 
ain't nobody gonna complain about a little extra bacon. And this was left over and threw back in the freezer. So I'm gonna just use it to add a little more flavor to our soup. You wanna get a good crisp on this. Okay, let's start putting our soup together. One cup of heavy cream. One container of low-fat chicken broth. And it calls for two stalks of celery. I don't have celery, so I'm substituting with two carrots. If you're not using fresh sweet corn, add one teaspoon of honey. Which I'm not. Since we're not big garlic fans, and it actually kind of hurts our stomach, I'm only going to use about a teaspoon of garlic. But it calls for a clove of garlic and two bay leaves. Now we're going to bring our vegetables over where we were frying. Get them added into our crock pot. See the nice brown on the corn. We'll get all that. Okay, we're gonna cook this on high for four hours and then we'll add our cheddar cheese and our, our cheddar cheese and our thickening aid. Okay, here is our chowder. Okay. Add, I normally add cheddar cheese, but I didn't have it, so I'm going to add just some cheese that I had. Add the cheese you like. This will help get, get your soup thick. Also, the secret thickening ingredient in this recipe is one bag of instant mashed potatoes. And I always choose the ones with butter because butter makes everything better. And then I stir this up and I'll let this cook for another half an hour to get thick. So I'll set my timer for another half an hour to thicken up and that, that'll that be our recipe. I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. I've added about a teaspoon of bacon grease because I've cooked this, I cooked my bacon ahead of time. So I'm going to just add a little bacon grease to, to our pot. And then I'm going to add 
our vegetables, which is celery and onions. And of course our bacon and two, two medium sized potatoes. And while I'm doing this, I drain a can of, of baby clams and I'm going to chop them. I'm gonna chop those while these start to get those cooked and, and get those onions translucent. Chop our, do a rough chop on our clams while that's happening. These are baby clams, but I, I still like my clams a little bit smaller than that, so I'd like to give them a nice rough chop. vegetables as is as followed a medi two medium potatoes well which one of mine is as purple for the spooky season they're purple and three stalks of celery and one small onion and four slices of bacon and I put in a two teaspoons of bacon grease because I didn't cook the bacon first if I would have cooked the bacon, then seared off the vegetables, I wouldn't have had to add the bacon grease. If you just have a crock pot and not an Instapot like this, you can always do this step in a skillet. Okay, we got our onions where they're more translucent. And this is the time we add our four cups of clam juice to get those nice bits off the bottom. That's what makes it, that's what gives it the flavor. There's nice bacon-y bits on the bottom. And then we're going to add our chopped clams because of course they're the star of the show. Gotta have the star of the show in there. stir and then we're going to add in heavy cream okay we got a full container of heavy cream and our client eight and four and a half cups of clam juice in now we're going to add bay leaves. Well, that one don't count. Well, I guess I guess those were broke up, so we'll, we added a few pieces of bay leaf. And two tablespoons of, of parsley.
and a teaspoon of onion powder. Then we'll let this simmer for four hours on high or eight hours on low and on the crock pot setting. Or for the Instapot here, I would only do four hours. But I'm gonna turn it over to the, to the crock pot setting. Okay, our soup's been boiling for about three hours. Been in the crock pot about three hours. Here's the trick to getting your soup thick without making a roux. Because I know some, it's, I've had roux not to turn out. People have had them. We, they worry their, their soup will turn out tasting like flour. Here's my trick. Especially if you're somewhere where you can't make a roux. Just use instant mashed potatoes. I prefer uh, the instant mashed potatoes with the butter. And then I'll add three tablespoons of butter to add more butter flavor to my soup. And then I'll just cook this for about a half an hour till that gets thick. And that is our clam chowder. As you can see, look how look how good that looks. Every, every time I pull it up, you have potatoes and celery and big chunks of clam in there. Looks delicious. I can't wait. This soup reminds me of October and of fall.